In this video, we're going to find the value of the integral from 0 to pi of psi x dx, where psi x is, the, is a special function, the sine integral. It is equal to the integral from 0 to x of sine t over t, dt. Also, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss a video. Okay, so let's start with the first way of doing this. So we're going to replace psi x with the integral from 0 to x of sine t over t, and then we have dt. So we have dt dx, we want to transform this into dx dt. So let's look at the graph. So this is two-dimensional bounds because it's with x and t. So we'll keep x the usual place, and then instead of the y-axis, we have the t-axis. So we have dx, and the bounds for x will go from 0 to pi. So we're going to write those down. x will go from 0 to pi. t goes from 0 to x. So t equals 0 starts here, and t equals x is a line. So we go from low to high, so we get a triangle area. And now we want to transform this into a left to right area. So we have, instead of d dt dx, we have dx dt. So we have, okay, so let's look at this again. So instead of t equals x, we have x equals t. And then x goes from 0 to pi. Okay, so it looks like this. So this point is a t, is a t point. So, th so this will end at pi. So t will go from t, and this is x. So t will go from 0 to pi. So this will be the integral from 0 to pi. And we have the integral expect with, the, with x stuff, sine t over t, dx dt. OK, x will go from, so left to right. So x starts at t and then ends on x equals pi. So the lower bound is t, the upper bound is pi. OK, good. But what is this? Sine t over t doesn't depend on x. So we can move that out. So we have the integral from 0 to pi. Sine t over t. We have the integral from t to pi of dx. And then we have dt at the back. What is this? This is the integral of 1 with respect to x from, pi to t, from t to pi. So this is just the upper bound minus the lower bound. So we have the integral from 0 to pi of sine t over t times pi minus t times dt. OK. This is the, the integral from 0 to pi. So let's move the pi to the front. And we have sine t over t dt minus, OK, this t and this t will cancel, leaving us with the integral from 0 to pi of sine t dt. OK, good. So you might be asking, what is this? Well, this is the special function we were talking about. OK, so this is pi. So we, have, we know that psi x equals this integral that ends with x. So instead of x, we have pi. So this will be pi times psi of pi minus, OK, the antiderivative of sine t is negative cosine t. That will multiply with this negative to be plus cosine t from 0 to pi. So this will be pi times psi of pi plus, so we do the upper bound minus the lower bound, plugging it in. So it'll be cosine pi minus cosine 0. And these are in radians. This would be pi psi pi. Cosine of pi is negative 1. And then cosine of 0 is 1. So that would be minus 1 minus 1, which is minus 2. So the answer is pi times psi of pi minus 2. OK, that's the first way. The second way. So we have the integral from 0 to pi of psi x dx. We're going to do this with the di method. So you might be asking how we're going to do this with the di method. Let, let's explain first. So in the beginning, we know that psi x equals this integral. So why don't we do the derivative on both sides with respect to x? Okay, leaving us with psi x prime. So the derivative of psi x is just sine, sine of, instead of t over t, we're going to plug in x. So we have sine x over x. So that is the antiderivative of psi x. Okay. So now we can do the di method. So we're going to differentiate this because we just found out what it is. Psi x. Then the integral is just 1, because 1 times psi x is psi x. The integral of 1 is x. 
The derivative psi x is sine x over x, as we saw before. We have plus minus. So we multiply these terms together. So we have psi x minus x, no, psi x times x, sorry, plugging in from 0 to pi. And then we have minus the integral from 0 to pi of sine x over x times x. But the x's will cancel, leaving us with pi, sine x dx. Okay, let's make some more room. Okay. So the lower bound, let's look at the lower bound first. So zero, plugging that in, you get zero times psi of zero. What is psi of zero? Psi of zero will be the integral from zero to zero. So that would just be zero. So it's zero times zero, which means this lower bound equates to being zero. So now we can plug in pi into the function. So we have pi times psi of pi minus this, which we know this is two. So this is just two, as we saw before, right? Because we have minus the same thing, we end up with minus two. So that is the second way of getting the same result from this definite integral. And that is the end of the video. Hope you liked it. And thanks for watching.